Hello and welcome. I'm Miss Lydia, your friendly neighborhood music teacher, and today we're going to be singing a Welsh folk song about goats. Is there another goat that has not been milked yet? In the snowy fields, the goats are wandering today. It's a white, white goat. Yes, it's white tail, white tail, white tail. Heidi. Pictures by Corinne Melvern. On top of a mountain in the Swiss Alps, Heidi lived with her grandfather. Their home was a hut overlooking the valley, and behind it stood three old fir trees. Heidi loved to hear the wind rushing and roaring in their long, thick branches. Heidi had a happy life. Every day in the summer, she went up the mountain with Peter, the young goat herd. She knew the names of all the flowers, and she was friends with all the goats in Peter's herd. In the winter time, Heidi stayed inside at home with Grandfather and watched him carve round wooden spoons or hammer together chairs or tables. Sometimes, Peter struggled up the snowy mountain path to call for Heidi and took her down to visit his mother and his blind grandmother. One day, Heidi's aunt came to take her to school, so off went Heidi to Frankfurt, far away. Heidi soon made friends in Frankfurt. There was the good old doctor who came to see Heidi's cousin Clara, and who never left without saying a kind word to Heidi. There was Clara's grandmother who taught Heidi to read, and of course there was Clara herself, pretty and sweet, but so pale and frail and unable to walk or stand. Heidi told her over and over again about Grandfather and Peter and the merry goats and the great fir trees. Oh, if only you could go there, Heidi would sadly say. You'd see. You would grow well and learn to walk there. Oh, if only we were home. Poor Heidi. She was so homesick for her mountains with the green valley spreading below. Here in Frankfurt, even from the golden steeple of the church which she visited one day, as far as her eyes reached, she could only see the gray stone houses of the city. Many weeks went by, and every day Heidi grew paler and more homesick. The kind old doctor who came to see Clara spoke gravely to Mr. Seesman, Clara's father. Heidi has grown thin and pale with homesickness. You must send her home at once, or she will be very ill, he said. The very next day, Heidi's bag was packed so she could go back to the mountains she loved. Heidi and Clara cried when they had to leave each other. But just wait, Heidi said. You will come to visit us soon, and then you will see how beautiful it is, and you will get well and strong up in the mountains. And then it was not long before Heidi was running up the path she knew so well, up to Grandfather's hut. Before Grandfather had seen her coming, she had thrown her arms around his neck. Grandfather, she cried. Grandfather, I am home and will never leave again. Heidi had to run out to see the goats, to hear the wind in the fir trees. She had to hurry down the mountain path to Peter's grandmother, who wept with joy to find that Heidi could read to her now. And every day, at least six times a day, she said to her grandfather, 
We must bring Clara up here. Here, Clara will get well and strong. Heidi had her way at last, and one day a little procession wound up the mountain. Clara was wrapped in shawls and blankets. She was being carried up in a chair. Her father, carrying more warm shawls, followed behind. I am going to stay with you, Clara told Heidi, her soft blue eyes shining. I am going to stay with you and Grandfather and Peter and the goats for four whole weeks. Then Father will come back for me. Heidi could do nothing but hop for joy. Every day after that, Grandfather carried Clara up where Peter kept his goats. He put her down on the warm, sweet grass, and then Heidi would pick flowers for her friend, or sit beside her to tell her the names of all the different goats. Every day, Clara drank great bowlfuls of sweet goat milk. This is so good, she sighed, and I am so hungry. At home, I never like to eat. It is the healthy mountain air, smiled Grandfather. By the time Mr. Seisman came up to call for his little girl, instead of a pale invalid, he found a tall, smiling, rosy-cheeked Clara, who came walking towards him on Heidi's arm. Mr. Seisman ran up and clasped her in his arms. How is this possible, he cried. How was this possible? And Heidi kept dancing around them both, singing happily. I knew the mountains would make you well. I knew they would make you well. The end. finish up today with some goat facts. Did you know? Goats are very social animals. Here is my herd posing for a family picture. Baby goats are called kids, just like humans. Aren't they cute? Goats eat lots of plant material, such as grass, leaves, twigs, and bark. These ones particularly like sun chips. Goats have four stomachs. They are rudiments and have to chew their food more than once. Humans only have one stomach. Goats like it when people smile at them. These goats like to smile back, too. That's all for today, folks. Tune in next time for more fun musical adventures.